All right, I'm Dave Ratt, and I've got some fun stuff to test and uh, check out here that I'm really excited about. Um, I'm going to be doing a series of videos focusing on um, in-ear systems. Um, I've got a assortment of some of the top brands and models out there um, that we'll do some comparing. I'll let you know what those are. I've got this new Audix TM2, which is a um, uh, test unit, which will allow me to plug the various in-ears into it and monitor their output. I can run that into Smart. I can... Um, and we can look at the response and the phase response, frequency response, and other tests. Uh, additionally, since the output of the in-ear goes into this little microphone calibrated unit, we can actually take the output of this unit, run it into an amp, run it into a speaker, and listen to through the speaker, and also direct to um, a recording device. So not only will, not like a normal demo where I'm listening to it and giving you opinion, I will make it so that you can actually hear the difference between these in-ears um, over the video. Uh, so that should be kind of fun. Uh, what else do I got? I've got this um, sound bullet I'm super excited about that um, we'll use a pink noise generator. And um, that's just a new toy for me that I, I love. And I'll try and get using that. Oh, what it, oh so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a whole series of videos. Um, I'm going to compare the in-ears, I'm going to, we'll do the listening, we'll uh, do all the response types, and I'll post some of this stuff, I'll post the basic stuff to the public, and uh, then what I'll do is I'll take the real in-depth and uh, comparative analysis with the smart and um, the more uh, intricate aspects I'll do a series of videos and I'll put those up on the paid member channel, uh, paid member uh, side of uh, my YouTube channel. Um, if you do sign up, it's $4.99 a month. No big deal. I do that mainly just to keep it super clean so we can have more um, uh, high quality discussions. And I do a weekly Zoom meeting with the members there and we discuss the various um, videos and any topics that uh, people want to talk about. All right, so what in-ears do we have here? We've got, um, let's start with the coolest new one I just got. Uh, L Acoustics has been so kind as to give me a demo set of the Contour XO. Um, these are made by Jerry Harvey Audio, JH Audio. And um, what L Acoustics has done is they've uh, worked with uh, Jerry Harvey and designed a, a set of in-ears that meets their specifications and um, made some changes. So it's definitely different than what uh, is in the JH Audio line and it's got some of what L Acoustics has learned uh, building large format and high quality sound systems, which I'm very familiar with. Um, and this should be interesting as well. I've actually got a pair of um, JH Audio Roxanne's, which is uh, one of their top uh, models, uh, multi-driver. So this would probably be the closest or one of the close comparisons to the L Acoustics. So we can hear the JH Audio version and the L Acoustics and see uh, what the differences are between the two um, products. So that's going to be fun. What else do I got? Not too... We can't do an in-ear test without looking at Ultimate Ears. And uh, I've got a pair of Ultimate Ears. What model are these? These are uh, U18 Plus uh, molded. Um, the Roxanne I've got are molded. The L Acoustics are generic fit um, because I just got them and I haven't um, got a pair of the molded ones yet. And we'll decide if I want them. Uh, so these UEs, so we'll be able to check those out. Uh, what else do I got? We've got um, a pair of um, Future Sonic MG6 Pro. Uh, these drivers, the um, up to now, they've all been armature based. The 
uh, JH Audios and the UEs are all multi-armature um, models. These are um, 13 millimeter drivers. Let's see, I wrote that down somewhere. Uh, Future Sonic 13 millimeter. So it's got a little speaker in it and a little ported output instead of uh, the little armatures, which is like a little machine that moves the audio. Um, so we'll be able to compare that. Uh, I'll do pink noise and we'll do some tone testing maybe and I'll also do some square wave pulse testing. And so we'll be, we'll be able to see some of the differences. Um, in here, I've got a pair of uh, molded Thelsonics. Um, these are interesting and it's a hybrid where there are both uh, armatures and uh, a little speaker, a little uh, normal driver in it. Um, so it's a composite one and I'm pretty happy with these. I actually use these quite a bit. Um, and what else do I got? Oh, I've got one more pair when Audix sent me the TM2 to try out and um, work with. They sent me a pair of Audix. Uh, these are A10s, 10 millimeter drivers. And um, yeah, we use these as a reference point. You know, there's the, uh, most of these in-ears, let's see, the L Acoustics are about $1,600 and change, you know, without any discounts or straight up, um, off the website. The JH Audio Roxanne's list price out at $1,599, um, but they've got them on sale now for $1,279 on the website. Ultimate Ears I uh, show is... Um, $14.99, down, discounted down to $10.99. The Audix is only $329. The Stelsonics uh, list price is $14.99. And the Future Sonics is $10.25. So these are $1,000 to $1,500, $1,700 uh, sets of years, uh, with the exception of the Audix. So that's it. We're going to um, take a look and have some fun um, testing in ears. Oh, another thing I'm going to do is um, show you the importance of in ear polarity. And also, I figured out a way to demonstrate um, the combination of the human resonance of your body versus the in ears versus latency from consoles. So I should, um, I've got it figured out, I've done some preliminary testing to where I can actually put that in a video audio track and you'll hear what the impacts are of different levels of latency from using a digital console versus an analog console and altering the polarity of in-ears. Um, something that I think is very important and overlooked. So um, yeah, I hope you, if you're interested in in-ear stuff, um, I'll be releasing these both on the member side and in the public side um, over the next month or so. Cool. Awesome. So thank you for hanging out and I hope you found this video and others that I do interesting and informative and check out soundtools.com. Take a look at the products that I personally designed, some solutions for the pro audio industry, uh, analog over Cat5, a bunch of testers um, and other useful tools. Um, ratsound.com has got our sales department, rental department, install department. Uh, we sell a wide variety of pro audio and AV gear. We do installations, small to large, and we do rentals for everything as small as local clubs and backyard parties, all the way up to Coachella Festival and artists like Pearl Jam, Jack Johnson, Blink-182. And thanks for hanging out.